Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I want to talk about my two favorite baits that I kind of use for when I'm throwing a shaky head. Uh, I'll throw like smaller shaky heads with smaller worms, but what I'm, what I'm talking about is I'll throw half ounce shaky heads, big shaky heads, something like that. This is just a yum shaky head right now. I think this is maybe like a quarter ounce. I don't have any half ounce on me right now because I've gone through them all and I haven't been able to get any more, but I, I like that offset hook that they have, that bigger wide gap hook, and I like a bigger head. And I think Bass Pro Shop makes a couple, a lot of different companies make a couple. And I like to just, that's just the style I like. I seem to get a better hookup on something that has that more offset hook, basically style with that flat head. But the two baits I like to throw on this the most one is going to be a zoom this is the magnum finesse worm and what i like about that is you know like i'm not much of a finesse guy um i'll, I'll throw drop shots and things like that when i need to but most of the time i'm trying to throw a little something bigger a little bulky or something to just get bigger bites and the good thing about this is i can i catch i get i catch small fish on that i get a lot of bites on it but most of the time my bites are usually bigger and what I like about the Zoom Finesse, the Magnum Finesse, is I like that, I don't know I don't know what it is for the fish, but just having that little extra bulbous of the tail there, it might help it float or stand up in the water when I'm fishing it. And there's a couple other ways I like to rig this lure as well, which I'll get into that into another video. But when I'm looking to kind of downsize or have to go to like a finesse situation, but I'm still looking to get that bigger bite, that is definitely something I like to throw. And all, the, only, the only thing is like I rig it just like you would, like how you're supposed to. And you see you got the little screw lock there and I'll just take it and I'll just screw it on. Let's see if I can hold that up there. And the good thing about this one too is it's pretty easy to screw on. You know, when you get to other different types of baits, they're not as easy to screw on quickly, but since this is just a linear bait, and see it's screwed on there and then I'll just take it just pinch it in go all the way through I'll go all the way through and then what I do is I'll just take it and text expose it just a little bit just enough to get me through cover keep me from getting hung up but that right there that is definitely one of my favorite finesse baits to throw especially if I'm trying to get a bigger bite and you can use this in multiple situations I've thrown this offshore on rock piles and structure, I've thrown it around trees, docks, even bed fishing with it. Anywhere you fish, basically any type of plastic you can throw this. I mean, you can throw it in the thickest of the thick around wood. But now obviously I wouldn't really fish it through, try punching it through grass, but I will fish it around sparse grass, pull it through and up and over. But again, guys, that that is bet one of my main go-to baits, especially when I'm going with a shaky head. And I'll throw this on a bait caster. So, and that's another thing I like about it. I like to throw a bait caster. I can skip this under docks. I mean, this is you know, you want to think it, but this you can skip. You can skip this for a mile and just get it back up into those corners under those docks. And you can adjust your head for whatever depth you're fishing. But usually a three eighths quarter to a half ounce is good. Um, I'm able to fish it anywhere I need to. And like I said, even offshore on rock structure and 30 feet of water, I can throw that out there and catch fish. Now, the second bait I'm gonna show you, which I haven't done a video on it before, and I'm gonna be doing another video on it here soon. But another bait I like to throw that's, you know, I mean, it's, I've noticed since I've made a video on it, they've been sold out a lot <laughs> at the store around me. But this is a Gary Yamamoto Creature Bait. And, you know, most people, when they see this bait, they probably think I'm gonna rig it from this way to the bait but I always rig it backwards. Cause if you look at this, if you look at it this way, it's very streamlined. Everything's gonna be flowing nice and neat and tight to the body, the appendages, the flappers, everything. And then it'll sit like this, but I like to actually take it and I'll rig it with the skirt down. Now this one is a little more difficult like I said, it's a little more difficult to screw on there quickly, especially in the summertime when your hands are sweaty, the baits are warm, they're wet, the salt's dripping out, everything's slippery. But again, I'll rig it straight, I'll screw it on there straight down on the skirt, 
and then again I'll just pinch it get it on there and then just pull and just a little text pose just enough and thing what I like about ringing that backwards is the appendages instead of being streamlined with the bait when I'm going through the water or when I lift it up and it's fallen everything flares out everything comes out uh, let's see so if you're gonna look at this instead of it being streamlined everything really tight you if you're if it's fallen this way now and everything is going out that's basically everything is going out it makes it bigger looking and makes it have a slower fall and if you want to have a faster fall you can just pull a couple of these skirts off right where the right where the line tie is and that will just reduce a little bit of drag allow for a faster fall but this is definitely one of my favorite baits to throw I always have this tied on I fish this around any type of wood any type of docks floating docks I fish it offshore just as well same thing anywhere I throw this I will throw this and obviously you know my, my favorite colors are gonna be green pumpkin but this is definitely a great bait to go with again that's a Gary on motor creature but I've caught hundreds of fish on this I'm always I'm always running out of them because I go through so many and also every time I go to the store I buy about every pack I can buy but again that Gary on motor creature bait that's my second bait I like to throw on a shaky head. And that's what I like about the shaky head. It's just versatile. You know, I can put a lot of different lures on it. I can use it in a lot of different situations. I can get a lot of different profiles out of that type of technique. So again, if you guys are gonna be headed to the store, Gary Yamamoto Creature Bait and the Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm, those are two of the my top baits for throwing on a shaky head when I'm looking for something a little bulkier, a little more, you know, it's finesse, but it's still a power, kind of power fishing technique and if I don't want something big as big as like a jig or something as little as a small trick worm those are what I'm gonna go with so again hope you guys like the video again take the time to subscribe to the channel there'll be some more videos coming out here soon and I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time